brief visit by the Prime Minister to Lakshadweep Islands, but it has sparked a massive political tsunami, not just in India, but in the neighbouring Maldives. Remember, Prime Minister visited Lakshadweep as part of his two-day visit to the peninsula of India when he shared pictures from picturesque islands and spoke of the pristine beaches in the archipelago. This appears to have ruffled feathers in Maldives. Interestingly, Prime Minister had not mentioned any particular country in the world when he was posting about people visiting a place like Lakshwadeep when he praised its beaches and the adventure activities there. But a member of the Progressive Party of Maldives, Zahid Ramiz, tweeted claiming that it is sad that a big country is trying to copy a small economy and that the idea of competing with Maldives is delusional. He has tweeted, how can they provide the services that we offer? How can they be so clean? This was followed by a tweet of a Maldivian minister, Mariam Shiuna, who went on to post a derogatory tweet over Prime Minister Narendra Modi that was subsequently deleted. But the damage had already been done. It had sparked outrage not only in India but also in the Maldives. In India, several celebrities including actors Salman Khan, Akshay Kumar, uh, Tiger Shroff, Shraddha Kapoor came out in support of Prime Minister's promotion for domestic tourism, asserting that it is time to explore islands in India itself. They also asked why India must tolerate such unprovoked hate. Subsequently, Indian government raised the issue with the Maldivian administration expressing its displeasure over the matter. प्रधानमंत्री जी की जो लक्षद्वीप की यात्रा रही उसने भारत के बहुत सारे लोगों को और देश दुनिया के लोगों को अवगत कराया कि भारत में जहां एक तरफ काशी जैसी प्राचीन नगरी है वहां पर दूसरी तरफ एकदम साफ सुंदर बीचेस भी हैं लक्षद्वीप की एक तरफ प्राचीनतम सभ्यता और सौंदर्य को दिखाने की है और दूसरी तरफ चंद्रयान जैसे चंद्रयान और आदित्य एलवन जैसे ऑब्जेक्ट्स उड़ाने की भी है आई डोंट गिव मच क्रीडेंस टू सच पीपल एक्सेप्ट आई वुड से द एवोल्यूशनरी हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया कैन ओनली बी अप्रिशिएटेड बाय द वंस हु आर इवॉल्व्ड इनफ इन देयर स्पिरिचुअल एंड मेंटल स्पेस now facing a flag the Maldivian government distanced itself from the comments made by some of their ministers and MPs insisting that the comments were made only in their personal capacity and did not in any way represent the views of the state. The Maldivian government has said that it will not hesitate in acting against those who indulge in such commentary and minutes after this statement came the crackdown followed. The government has suspended the Multiple ministers from their government with immediate effect, including Mariam Shiuna, Malsha Sharif and Mahazum Majid. Now joining us on the broadcast is uh, Dunya Maumoon, former foreign minister of uh, Maldives, as is uh, Mithun Vijay Kumar, who's a political analyst, Sham Prasad Meka, who's leader of the Congress, Tejbir Singh Anand, founding member of uh, VC Faith. But first, I'd like to come to you, Dunya Maumoon. Uh, a lot of people in India have been wondering a promotion of an Indian island. How did it become about Maldives? Uh, yes, thank you very much. It's uh, good to be able to talk about this topic. It's a very serious one. And let me start by saying that I am myself very concerned about the developments. And as you would know, the Maldives Foreign Ministry has already issued a statement saying that uh, the government would not condone any racist or derogatory commentary from government officials. Um, I am not in government at present. I am part of the PPMPNC or the government coalition. I'm a member of, uh, of those parties and I'm seeking uh, office in parliament uh, in, in the near future. Um, obviously, I think the relationship between Maldives and India is a very strong and a very close relationship. I myself have seen um, how this relationship evolved across three governments. I traveled with three presidents to India, to Delhi, to meet the prime ministers in India and have been part of many bilateral discussions. So at the outset, let me say that I do apologize on behalf of um, Maldivians and including, if I may say, the Maldivian government, as they have said in their uh, statement that we do not wish to offend and particularly 
um, we hold Prime Minister Modi in great respect. I think uh, President Moise himself has been very clear, and I know he will take whatever action necessary. He has himself um, been working to keep a strong relationship between our countries. And the links between our peoples is historic and also very strong. Hmm. Uh, we travel often to India, Maldivians visit for a number of reasons, and as you know many more many indians are working here in the but but what according to you uh, could have been the motivation behind such commentary which was clearly derogatory and and to be honest inexplicable what what did uh, zahid mean when he said that the rooms would be smelly that india is being delusional when there was absolutely no reference to maldives whatsoever once again i can only say what i have been um, seeing in the press and on the media obviously that we are concerned and the government is taking the necessary actions and that President Moise himself takes this very seriously. Um, I myself do not condone any kind of language like that and I think it is not acceptable at all. Was it an attempt to draw political mileage by showing India as some sort of a villain? It would not be right for me to comment on that as to what the motivation was. Um, and once again, I do repeat that we have to move beyond this and I think as friends, close friends, we will face issues in our relationship. But I think it's up to the governments and the peoples of our countries to make sure that such issues do not arise in future, that we are respectful of each other and that we continue to have our strong relationship. And I think we need to overcome this and I think there's news media and people who are trying to escalate this situation and I am concerned with that because I think with the long-term friendship, despite our differences on some issues, I think we have a strong bond that we do need to maintain. All right. Uh, stay on with me, Ms. Memun. Uh, joining me on the broadcast are also our uh, domestic uh, leaders, uh, Shyam Prasad Mekha. Now, you clearly heard a Maldivian politician saying that India and Maldives have enjoyed long-standing close ties. And why would a Congress leader say that uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi actually, what he did, distanced a close ally. How? See, this, we, we will talk about in our politics what we need to do, how we need to do. We can talk about it. That's not, not an issue. But the serving ministers in Maldives doing it is foolishness. And they did it. And we appreciate Maldives government uh, that they took the action. We are not, Just because we are an opposition party, we are not going to sit uh, quiet when uh, these things happen, right? So this is in very bad taste. And they have no business to make such comments. Uh, and yeah, internal politics, internally, yeah, we will talk. E That's e not an issue. Yes, sir. Internally, we will talk. And I'm only asking you about what internal talk has happened. Abhishek Manu Singh, we had put out a post where he said that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has distanced an ally by posting his pictures from Lakshadweep and his bucks, quote unquote, are only amplifying that damage. How? See, see, that, that is, uh, Abhishek uh, Manasinghvi's uh, comments, you can ask him. That's an opinion. This is not Sir, a Congress party. Sir, he's your party, party. No, wait, wait, leader. Wait. This, is, this is not a Congress party stand or anything, right? Congress, I will have my stand. Sir, this uh, distancing uh, Sir, yourself opinion. seems to be the most convenient strategy now from Maldives to India. I, I won't say my opinion and others' opinions. I will have my opinions. I will talk about my party's policies. Okay. This is not a party policy, right? This is simply Abhishek Manasingh. We did a comment. Okay, let's let, uh, let's ask him. Okay, so, so, so everybody is distancing from the comments that have been made. One only can guess what was the purpose. But the, let's 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 ask our viewers to weigh in on this because uh, at least they will have their own opinions. Sir, in this whole debate, uh, uh, we were asking our viewers uh, in this whole debate about uh, Maldives versus Lakshadweep. Uh, Rajendra Kumar from Chennai. Where do you stand? Which destination is going to be on your bucket list? Has Prime Minister's visit uh, added Lakshwadeep to your list or was it always there? Yeah, uh, it has added my wish to visit uh, Lakshwadeep. And three years, four years back, um, our Prime Minister said to first visit our places, tourism. So, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Or uh, instead of going to, uh, before going to other countries, first we should visit our holy, I mean, uh, tourism place in India. That's my point of view. Okay. Uh, we also have Devi Dikshit from Amalapuram. Please go ahead. Yeah, 
good evening panel yes and all of the viewers also yeah it was all you always wanted to visit lakshadi for the last few years and now this has become even more keen for us to do it and i would like to plan this for my mother's 80th birth anniversary birthday celebration which will be next year so i'll see that all my family members will meet over there and i wish all of us really to it and visit our beautiful places that are there in our country and we are been doing that we have been together now and you know we are actually following this movie wherever he goes is trying to bring out the beauty of our country to the youngsters to the elders and he's covering all the age group and that's something which i think all of us should appreciate and the politics as well yeah Hmm. Mithun Vijay Kumar. Now yes. there are also those in the opposition who are saying that this is only going to boost uh, uh, tweets about this and not really tourism. What do you think? Yeah, I heard the Congress spokesperson. Uh, he was distancing himself from uh, from Abhishek uh, Singhvi's comments. Uh, Abhishek, uh, I believe, is the official spokesperson of Indian National Congress also, and uh, ha- he can make a comment and the other congress people they, they don't support it so the stand of congress with, with respect to you know india or its uh, uh, integrity is questionable because whenever they spot an issue they use it against the ruling party and that is something that's a trend we have been seeing in the past and uh, coming to this issue on maldives uh, you see uh, i i came to know about this through a news you know regarding the tweet from the so called uh, deputy minister uh, <clears throat> and and since it's a name that i'm not so familiar with i wanted to find out who this person is So I did a Google search. It didn't show any results other than the Lakshadweep news itself. Uh, then I go and check her profile on social media, and I find that you know she gets some seven to ten likes on each post, and there wasn't much information about what she does in the uh, social realm or or in, or in politics itself. I even ask uh, you know artificial intelligence search engines who is this uh, Mariam Shivana, and it says I don't know. That's exactly what the AI result was. so uh, you know such an insignificant person whose contributions to the field of politics are unknown even to uh, you know her own people or to the world makes some derogatory remark against the prime minister of the world's largest democracy and surprisingly it's everywhere on the social media and congress is supporting it surprisingly so i doubt this is part of you know another anti india campaign to defame mr. india mr maker is vehemently shaking his head mr maker so, uh, have there been any posts from congress leaders condemning these remarks i seem to have missed them see see first of all we need to come out of this mindset that uh, you can you can continue to talk about congress as some sort of india anti india force right how do you, how do you guys come up with such nonsensical theories your your, your position on various matters proves that no come on my friend listen position to position you take listen, on with listen, respect to certain listen, matters listen to that. my friend my friend listen to me i can disagree with narendra modi and bjp but i am not going to doubt their uh, integrity and uh, they the uh, patriotism that's that's the congress and that's the india that we want to live in mr maker and what was your plan mr maker when the prime minister was being called a clown when uh, residents of lakshadweep were being called well. smelly you people my patriotism no sir sir to you as well S- sir sir do that. sir no sir the pa- my my Don't question is not about patriotism at all my question was have there what been any mean, tweets from patriotic, patriotic congress leaders it's against the comments india. that were made about it india's prime minister because india. i seem to have I, missed them you call the uh, party anti india is it not the question of patriotism sir sir my question don't, don't. is different What's your language been supporting Ms. anti india protests from time to time and that itself no, no. proves your position in with respect mr. to mr vijay kumar just a second mr vijay kumar language. mr vijay kumar let and me just language. ask you can try it with other congress people not with me mr maker not with me you can try those tricks with other congress people you can try to attack uh, them mr uh, maker okay, we no, really We really appreciate language. the point that Mr. Speak Vijay Kumar properly. was making was that speak properly. I will speak properly. If you t- take that language, call my party and me anti-India and supporting anti-India forces. I am. I am This speaking is, with respect to your am, position on matters. I I am not sitting here to uh, to be acted as a prop for you to make your propaganda. Okay. Okay, Mr. Maker. Now, can I ask my question? My question was that since uh, uh, Congress is patriotic, and you've yourself very gracefully said that in matters that relate to India, we stand with the country. Has the patriotic Congress Party or any of its leaders condemned these comments that have come, which are absolutely demeaning and derogatory for the Prime Minister as well as the people of Lakshadweep? 
Of course, I spoke just now, no? Not many people have spoken. Sir, I asked Not many your... people have spoken. Sir, I said your patriotic Congress party. See, in Indian government responded. Maldives government responded. So I think we should bury the hatchet and move on. This is a very bad thing. And uh, this is not a, something to be debated about. What okay. is there to debate? There is a the, the couple of foolish people in the government made foolish comments and they were acted upon properly by Maldives government and India registered its protest. Mm -hmm. And many people, any, many people in India are lashing out at the Maldives ministers. They got, they got their lesson. This is over, right? All right, uh, Tej, Tejbir Singh Anand, has the hatchet been buried? Well, I'm nobody to comment on that because I don't come from the political field. I come no, from the field so of I meant that uh, when and, uh, all this data like is being thrown around, that a lot of uh, trips that had been booked to Maldives have been cancelled uh, and people are preferring domestic destinations. Uh, do you see a tourism fallout of this controversy? Absolutely. I think I just received some statistics from my colleagues in the group that more than 8,000 uh, hotel bookings have been cancelled, more than 1,200 flights have been cancelled. So the Maldives uh, as a destination is already feeling the brunt of, you know, the sad thing which has happened. Uh, idly, it's, it's not a very uh, a great, you know, moment. Uh, and I'm sure that nobody is liking this, you know, situation. And uh, no Indian would uh, would like to hear such comments as such, you know. But I think uh, uh, I, I see a positive ray of light. And in this entire episode, Lakshwadeep, our, our fantastic jewel of the crown, uh, has suddenly come out and people are looking at it. Uh, the social media is completely uh, bowled over with the number of searches for Lakshwadeep. I think uh, we're getting a deal uh, which is very positive. All right, and we'll give our last uh, uh, point of view option to our viewer, Srikant from Bengaluru. Sir, where do you stand on this Lakshwadweep versus Maldives debate? Yeah, good evening. Good evening to everybody. It's a, see, our Prime Minister, great Prime Minister, who is a wherever he visit and tourism is immediately it follows the tourism and it is a good thing where he is showcasing our Indian whether it is a religious place or it is a uh, beaches whether it is Lakshadweep or Andaman Nicobar it's a great thing he is doing and people should first visit to the domestic tourism and domestic tourism also will increase and this is some of the opposition member uh, opposition parties who are not uh, happy with the uh, his uh, 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 promoting the tourism or whatever he's doing. All right. Uh, like and it's a great thing what our PM is doing. But was it just a way of promoting tourism that has now snowballed into a political and perhaps a diplomatic controversy? And are there people who are trying to get political mileage out of something that was supposed to be innocent push of tourism? We'll further debate this issue at 9 p.m. tonight. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me in this broadcast. We take a very quick break.